Shalom, Israel. Most High Christ bless. I pray you all is well. Welcome to another episode of 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Naon. To my right. I'm Officer Boaz. All praises. And today's topic we're going to talk about is Israel, the land of Canaan, was a part of Africa. Israel, the land of Canaan, was a part of Africa. There's a lot of misconceptions out there. A lot of untrue and lies that we've been told about the land of Africa and the land of Israel that they not want, that they were never a part of each other. All right. And we're going to bring out true facts to show you these things that they was mistaken, that they they have uh, put a whole bunch of misconception lies out there to confuse you. All right. Um, And to make you doubt as well. All right. So first fact I want to point out is that the land of Africa is not the land of Africa, all right? It got its name from um, Leo Scipio's Africanus, all right, which went and fought and battled against uh, Hannibal in the Second Punic Wars, all right? That's how that land mass got their its name, all right? Just like America, all right? Named after Amerigo Vespucci, all right? I'm butchering their names, but yeah. So, understanding that name of Africa was not named Africa. We're going to go through the scriptures and show you the true name of that landmass that the Most High gave it, all right, after its progenitor, all right. So, from there, let's go to uh, Psalms 105 and 23. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 105, verse 23. Uh Israel also came into Egypt. And Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham. You see that? It said, Israel also came into the land of Egypt. And we're going to read that throughout this class, showing you the goings through, the ups and downs from the land of Canaan, which is Israel, to Egypt. Over and over, you go see this traveling back and forth in the scriptures. All right? Showing you it's the same land mask. All right? So the land of Africa was not the land of Africa. You can find that nowhere in the Bible. The land of Africa is the land of Ham, thus said the Lord. All right. So let's deal with more misconceptions on the land of Israel, also known as the name land of Canaan. All right. To where a part of Africa. All right. All this is one continent. All right. So let's go to Genesis 10 and verse 6. Genesis 10 and 6. Because, you know, our person want to paint a picture for us to where, whatever reason, that Africa, well, Canaan, which is Israel, wasn't a part of Africa, like Egypt and so on and so forth. Let's read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 10, verse 6. Uh And the sons of Ham, Cush, and measure him and foot and cannon. Okay, keep reading. So from there, I'm showing you basically these are the read it again. Read it again. The son and the sons of Ham, Cush, measure him and foot and cannon. So these are the sons of who? Ham. After the flood, we know you read up, you had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. When you read verse uh was it one? Yeah, verse 1. All right, read that right quick. So you can just get to understand. Read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 10, verse 1. Uh-huh. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and unto them the sons born after the flood. So these are the sons born after the flood. All right. Shem had sons that were born to him after the flood. Japheth had sons born to him after after the flood as well as who we talking about ham had sons born after him one of his sons name were what canaan all right which you read in verse six all right uh which is ethiopia cush and, and mizraim uh egyptian so on and so forth all right so from there I jump to verse 15 so these being his sons ham had sons he gave them what land all right to dwell in we go read about that land that they dwelled in. Go ahead. The book of Genesis, chapter 10, 
And Canaan begot Sidon and his firstborn, he. Verse 16. And Jezebel and the son uh, and the Amorite mm -hmm. and the Jerzecite. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. And the H Havite, Havite uh -huh. and the Her Hervite, Erechite, and the Sinite. Mm -hmm. Verse 18. And the Ervite and the Zemorite and the Hamite. And, and afterwards were the families of the Canaanites spread it abroad. So it's showing you these are the sons of Canaan. So Ham begat Canaan as one of his sons. These are sons, Canaan's sons. All right. And their families. And it said they were spread abroad. Where were they spread abroad to? To where? Their land. All right. Let's go to Genesis 17 and verse 1. The book of Genesis, chapter 17, verse 1. Uh -huh. And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. So he told Abraham to walk before him. So we're going kind of chron chronologically to show you that Ham and his son Canaan and his families, they had a land mass that they were given, which is the land of Canaan. All right. And this land of Canaan was promised to the children of Israel via the Most High God. All right. We're reading to you why. Re okay. Read. Uh, so it said, and, and when Abraham was 99 years old, I'm sorry, was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram. And said unto him, I am the Lord, I am God, I'm the Lord, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. So perfect, according to the Bible, is the commandments. All right. Uh, Psalms 19 and 7. So jump down to verse uh, 7. The book of Genesis, chapter 17, verse 7. Mm -hmm. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee. In their generation for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thee and to they, thy seed after thee. Right. So the most High God almighty God told Abraham, be perfect. So he said he basically told him to keep the commandments. And he told him, I will establish my covenant with you. Which was we're going to read some of it. All right, the covenant in your flesh. But he promised also land to us. All right, if we kept the commandments. That's okay, good. read verse 8. <clears throat> verse 8. And I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee, and th the land where then thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession. And I will be their God. See, that it said, I will give you a part of this covenant that the Most High God promised Abraham, our forefather, that I will give your seed, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the 12 tribes, a land, the land of Canaan, that we were strangers in, for everlasting possession, and I will be their God. All right. That's a part of the stipulation of the covenant. All right. The stipulation as well is you keep these commandments. You can have this. If you don't, I'm going to take it away. Remember that. All right. Because we go learn later on in the class. It was taken away. Keep reading verse nine. Verse nine. Uh -huh. And God said unto Abram, thou shalt keep my covenant. Therefore, thou and thy seed after thee in their in their generation. So the most High God told us you're going to keep this covenant. All right. And when you read further down, going to the circumcision, we're supposed to keep that as well to this day. All right. So he promised us all the way in Genesis that we will have this land where we were strangers in. All right. From there, let's go to Genesis 41. 41 and 41. The Most High God promised it, and it was fulfilled. The same landmass that we're speaking of, Canaan, all right, which was given to the Canaanites. All those families of Cain, Canaan, all right, but then given to the children of Israel. Read that. 
the book of Genesis, chapter 41, verse 41. Mm -hmm. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. So as you see in this point in time, we were Joseph was in the land of what? Egypt. All right. And his brethren, which we go read in verse chapter 42, the next chapter, but he was uh, sold into slavery. All right. For a reason, of course, because everything the most I does is for a reason. All right. But he was set in the land second in command in in Egypt, the land of Egypt. So we're going to see what his, where his brothers come from. All right. Read 42 and verse 1. The book of Genesis, chapter 42, verse 1. So understanding, Israel, it's a lot of traveling going on, back and forth, up and down, throughout what? Egypt, Canaan, Egypt, Canaan. Africa is a big continent. All right. Keep reading. Now, when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, mm -hmm. Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look one upon another? Mm -hmm. Verse 2. Oh, he's saying, why y'all staring at each other? Why y'all looking lost? What's going on? The verse above, Joseph fulfilled a, a, a prophecy for the dream. That's how he became second in command. There it was a famine in the land. So they have what? Food. All right. And now what's for the partake? They're for to go down and get some food. Go ahead. Keep reading. Verse two. And he said, behold, I have heard that there is coin in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. So Joseph, I mean, Jacob told them to do what? Go get some food. All right. Go down to Egypt. Go down. Because if you know what Israel is on the map, it's, it's uh, further up east. And they had to come down to Egypt. So it said, go down and get some food so we won't die. All right. Keep going. Verse three. Mm -hmm. And Joseph, ten, 10 brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob sent not with his brethren. Mm -hmm. For he said, least pre-adventure mischief, mischief befall him. Mm -hmm. Verse five. And the sons of. Basically, he go get in trouble. Go ahead. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came. For the famine was in the land so of... So read, read that one more again. And the sons of Israel came down, came to buy corn among those that came. So the sons of Israel, the Israelites, came down to buy corn among those that came. That means it was other people. Remember, we were strangers in this land. They came down also to buy corn. And who are these people? Read that again. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came. Mm -hmm. For the famine was in the land of Canaan. For the famine was in the land of Canaan. So at this time, they were where? In the land of Canaan. Okay. Well, we were what? Strangers in that land. All right. We had yet taken over and it wasn't our land yet. All right. Keep going. And Joseph was the governor over the land and he and he and he it was that sold to all the people of the land mm -hmm. and joseph brethren came and bowed down themselves before him mm -hmm. with their face to the earth because that was in the prophecy what would happen in the dream he had go ahead verse seven and joseph saw his brethren and he knew not and he knew them but made himself strange unto them and and spake roughly unto them and he said and he said unto them whence come ye and they said from the land of canaan to buy food you see that so his brothers told him we came from the land of canaan to buy food and his brothers he knew who they were he spoke to the rough so they wouldn't think nevertheless of who he was they wouldn't get you know um, start to think on who this was or anything like that. And of course, he was dressed differently and all these other things living in Egypt, right? So, from there, let's go down. And as we point out in this, they're coming from where? The land of Canaan. 
So it's showing you that traveling is going forth, back and forth. All right? Because this is one last land mass that we're speaking of, Canaan and Israel. Well, Canaan, which is Israel, but going into Egypt. All right? So let's go to Exodus 3 and 1. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 1. The book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 1. And we're kind of jumping all over the place, but just understanding we're showing you the traveling throughout these, the land of Africa, all right, to show you that it's one land mask, all right? Go ahead. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Madin, and, and he led the flock to the, to the backside of the desert. Mm -hmm. And came to the mountain of God, mm -hmm. even to Horeb. And, and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of the bush. Mm -hmm. And he looked, and beho beho behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Mm -hmm. Verse 3, and, and Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. Verse 4, and when, he, and when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto the, him out of the midst of the bush, and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here I am. Verse 5. So this is when Moses being called to, he's being chosen for a mission. And this mission we're going to read further down is to what? Deliver the children of Israel out of what? Bondage. Out of where? The land of Egypt. And they're going to go on a journey to where? The land of Canaan, which is the land of Israel. All right. Keep going. And he said, draw not now hither, but off thy, put, put off thy shoes from off thy feet. For the place wherein thou standest is holy ground. So, it, the, the Most High Christ, brother, was telling Moses that he had to take off all the philosophies, the thing that he learned in Egypt. Because just like Joseph, as we read, was second in command, that's where Moses was, second in command under Pharaoh. All right? And he had power. All right? And he lived and was raised up under them that power for so long all right keep reading verse six mm -hmm. moreover he said i am the god of thy father the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob and moses hid his face for he was afraid to look upon god right so he's showing you that what if we read in genesis 17 moses said generation to generation his seed this is his seed all right, the, the tribe of Levi, this is his seed of the 12 tribes. He was chosen to go on a mission to do what? Deliver his, his people so they can get the promise that was mentioned in 17, Genesis 17, which is the, the land of Israel or the land of Canaan. Keep going. Verse 7, mm -hmm. and the Lord said, I have surely seen thy, the affliction of my people mm -hmm. which are in Egypt and have heard their cry mm -hmm. by reason of their taskmaster for i know their sorrow right so the most i said i know the affliction that you've been going through in egypt i'm the one put you there but now i know it's time to deliver you out of egypt so that's why i'm sending my prophet moses to do that read eight verse eight mm -hmm. and i and i am come down to deliver them out of the hands of the egyptian mm -hmm. and and to bring them up out of the land unto a good land and a, a large and unto a land flowing with milk and honey unto, unto the place of the Canaanites, mm -hmm. the Hittites, and the Amorites, mm -hmm. and the Paras, Paras, Parasites. Parasites, and the Hittites, mm -hmm. and the Jebusites. Right. So, as we just read again, that... Moses is going to deliver us from the land of Egypt to take us to the land of milk and honey that he promised our forefathers. All right. We received those commandments and as well, Moses gave us those commandments again. And he said, 
he's going to bring us in a land that flowed with milk and honey. It said, unto the place of the Canaanites. That's the land of promise. 